Guys, this is Ben with IDS coming back at you. Um, it's Friday night and it's been a long week, uh, good week, work week, and um, lots of cool stuff coming up. I've been working on uh, some projects for um, IDS and, and, and the class schedule for 2022. It's going to be amazing. Hopefully you guys stick around for it. Um, but hey, coming at you um, because I want to talk to you again about dry fire. I know, I know. I'm starting to harp on dry fire. You guys are starting to see a lot of videos. Hopefully it's encouraging some of you guys to get your gear out and start working the dry fire. It's cold outside in Idaho. It's slushy. It's nasty out there. It's muddy when it's not uh, freezing cold out. So um, dry fire is a really great way to get reps and it's an absolutely free way to do that. So having said that, one of the things that I'm working on in my dry fire is transitions. And specifically, I want to be really fast at moving left to right, right to left. And um, the way to do that, the way that I understand to do that is that the eyes move first you identify or you spot your point of impact, then your gun follows to where your eyes are. And this, when you get that slight picture, that's when you break your shot. And in between, we're riding recoil, resetting, and going back the other direction or, or transitioning off to the next target. Um, for me, what that looks like at home is I can, you know, with my shot timer and the one that I have currently, it allows me to do like one solid rep which is okay, right? And I can just, you know, reset it, you know, uh, and and re repeat. The um, the number of reps though is kind of slow. It's it's and it's kind of aggravating because I want I want a more consistent way of doing that. And unfortunately, my shot timer I just can't program it to go off every 25 or 0.25 seconds. Um, and not to mention that my part timer only going down 0.6, and a lot in the market um, won't go below 0.5. And part of that is because of the length of the beep, right? So it's the beep has got to finish before the next beep starts. Um, so measuring the time gets a little wonky and less precise. So um, this is not going to be a surprise to you if you are a musician, but I went. I, I actually had this idea today. Maybe it's been out there before, but I actually downloaded a metronome. And the metronome, I, and I've got an iPhone, so... I'm gonna unlock it here, there you go. So the one I found was Pro Metronome, and it's absolutely free in the App Store. I'll put a link down below so you can download it. The really cool thing is I'll let you take a look at it right here, hopefully you can see that. Um, it allows me to interact with it. So this one I have right now set as a four to one, so every fourth um, uh, beat is gonna give me a different tone, which is kinda cool. And then I can adjust either using this wheel here, make it go faster, so I'm adjusting much to a much faster or slower, right? So I'm gonna crank this all the way up. So if I really wanna crank it, so I wanna go every uh, quarter second, right? Um, so what I would do is set this to 240. Now the way, the fast way to do this is hit the, hit the button itself, put 240 there, hit it set, and So you, every one of those lower, that's a quarter of a second, okay? So now that's going to be really ridiculously fast and at my level, I'm not there, right? I want to get there, but not there. Um, I think, um, you know, my um, shots or my time between shots is, um, you know, I'm probably right around the 0 0.25, 2.0. Sometimes I'll break into the teens if I'm really fast. Um, so that's another thing I want to work on. So I'm going to use, try to see if I can use this metronome to get me there. Um, so I'm going to use this. I'm probably going to set it up at, at about 180 to anywhere from between 120 to 180 to start with and, and, and set up some dry fire targets like I have. You can kind of see one. Oh, there it is right there above the wall. Got a little popper behind me next to my son's pictures. Um, so, and I've got this Airsoft. This is a 1911 variant. Um, is full airsoft, so you can see it's just an airsoft magazine. So I'll set this up, drive my gun out, and then start working my dry fire, right? Maintaining the a good triangle on the arm, making sure I've got really good fundamentals, and I'm moving my eyes first, and then the gun to the eyes, or the point of impact. Guys, I hope this helps. I'm gonna drop a link in here again for the, the metronome that I'm using. And man, I'd love to hear if this is gonna help you, if you've done this before, um, or if you've got other tips and tricks that you use to help, especially with the transition stuff. I think between collectively, we've got a huge body of knowledge here and it'd be great to get some of that shared out. All right, Ben out, IDS out. You guys have a fantastic uh, weekend and we will talk to you soon.